Coming up, we have the top stories from Heli Expo in Houston, Texas, including the CHC buyout and Bell's revised lineup. From Heli Expo 2008 in Houston, Texas, I'm Amy Osher for AIN TV. Here are today's top stories. Augusta Westland is announcing an estimated $440 million in orders here. More than half the orders are for the twin turbine AW139. The largest order at Heli Expo 2008 came from Scandinavian Aircraft Marketing for $49 million worth of AW139s. The largest existing contract came from Sloan Helicopters, which ordered 13 helicopters at $87 million. These stills are your first look at Robinson Helicopters R66. It's the company's first turbine-powered aircraft. You can see the helicopter exhaust stack in this picture. The R66 is about 8 inches wider than the R44 Raven 2 to allow three seats across the aft cabin section. Bell Helicopter announces figures for its new 429 program. On the heels of retiring four popular aircraft models, including the VFR rated 427, which it's set to replace. If the 429 passes a series of tests, Bell anticipates FAA certification by the end of the year. Today, the company released it has more than 260 orders from 30 countries. Private equity investment firm First Reserve Corporation will pay close to $3.7 billion to acquire CHC Helicopter. CHC made a name for itself as the biggest provider of transportation for oil companies. While CHC's board of directors already approved the deal, it will take shareholder and governmental approval for the arrangement to be finalized. Workers put the final touches on exhibits for opening day of the 60th annual Heli Expo. More than 500 exhibitors are on hand to show off their latest innovations and products. About 50 of the 60 aircraft on display were flown in to be part of the world's largest helicopter trade show. HAI President Matt Zuccaro told AIN-TV that he anticipates exceeding the Heli Expo's previous record of 16,200 visitors. If you're here at the show, pick up a copy of HAI Convention News. I'm Amy Osher. Thanks for watching.